welcome to a little bit of everything. I'm Frank and today's video is about DIY. As you can see, that's the door standing next to me. Actually, I'm standing next to the door. So this is in my basement and then I put the room behind me. I built this room in the basement like last year and I leave the doorway open on purpose. I leave this doorway open on purpose because I always wanted a slide door but on upstairs of my house, I don't have any place to put a, a slide door, like a sliding barn door like this one. And I just finished this door, like literally two days ago. And then today I want to uh, show you guys how I make this door from scratch and the process I'm making it and break down the course. And if you want to make something similar and what you, you need to watch out. So first at all, the design, how I come up with this design. Actually, I didn't design this door. Um, and I, then I was uh, looking for sliding bond door. And then I'm looking from Pinterest and searching online and see what is interesting, like what type of style I like. Then I come up, I come across with this one. Take a look here uh, from Pinterest. So give credit to the original designer, whoever come up with that idea. So I basically took that design to turn into my own. Um, as you can see, at the picture again, Compare, compare them as you can see basically it's very very similar and all I do is I add another picture frame on it because I build with uh, three quarter plywood and then so the picture frame is basically hide at the, the side of the plywood let's take a look at the process how I build it first then we come back and go over um, the thing that we need to go over about it so let's take a look
want you the process of how I made this doll. So there's a couple things I want to go over first about the painting. So there's a lot of a corner here, a lot of 45 degree and 90 degree corner. So if you're gonna do it like the way I'm doing it using a clean brush, they're gonna at least take you three to four hours for two coat primer and the actual color I'm the color you are choosing. The colors I'm using here are called Mountain Pine from Home Depot. It's actually a little bit green, dark green type of. The camera might not pick up the green, it looks darker. But anyway, so if you have an essence of, of spray paint, definitely do spray paint. That can save you a lot of time. And also, I did make a mistake as you can you guys can see from the from the video. But I did join the two boards together and then fill all the hole with with glue and send it down, paint it now, you, no one gonna notice it unless you're gonna take a magnifying glasses and go here and look at it like this. You know, if you're not a very really good DIYer, you're gonna make a mistake. So, but you definitely can fix it, right? Next thing I wanna go over is the hardware kit. The hardware kit I got from Amazon. When I purchased this, I think it's $41. It's the most simple one. It's only come with the rail, two hanger, and then a dog guy. So, $40 with a lot of review, so it's one of the best value I think you can find on, on Amazon. So I'm very pleased with the hardware kit, uh, I feel like um, high quality, you see, I'm trying to shake it, it's not moving at all. I will drop down the link in the description for this hardware kit, if you're interested you can go find it. Next thing that I want to go with is why I decided to build my own doors, because a lot of them you know if if you, you're living in the US, you gotta go out and find a barn door with the hardware kit with everything included. The cheapest you can go probably is like 350 to 400 bucks. But those doors are very boring. Let's say, <laughs> like this one, they are that kind of boring, you know? And you're spending four, five hundred bucks and with just a hardware kit and a boring door. So that's why I don't want something like that. And I want something unique. So that's why I. I kind of have to come up with my own idea or to look at what idea I'm interested in online. So just basically, you know, that's that's how I come up with this. Next is the cost of this store. So you can look at the screen. I already have everything listed out. And then the header core is the 10 bucks. The ping, I got one cord. It's 10 dollars, around 10 dollars. Hardware kit is 45. Hardware kit is 41, I'm sorry. And then, um, all the wood they use, uh, three quarter standard plywood, and then uh, one by two by eight common pine board. So I use ten pieces, thirty five dollars there. So added up is uh, around one hundred fifty. The exact number is on the on the screen. So that's the cost. And then the tools I'm using is basically I'm gonna put the tools I'm using down in the description also. So that's a all I want to cover and then there's the first time I'm making DIY video project like this so I'm not sure I explained the whole process well enough throughout the video but if you have any question you can always leave a comment down in the comment section I will try my best to answer you I took some photo of the door and then um, took some video about how the mechanism work how the rotor work and things like that so I'm gonna pay you that after that I think the video is gonna end here so if you like my video please subscribe and hit the like button so more people can discover um, the video. So until then, I will see you next time.